Praise the Lord. Just sitting here about to um, go ride down on, uh, to the lakefront and get out of my car and walk and talk to the Most High God. Uh, beforehand, I have a conversation with you all. I received a phone call from a good brother, Army Army brother, and old Sergeant Parham. He's like, T.D., you know, um, Junior is um, about to graduate. Um from Georgetown, he lives, he lives up in D.C., where in uh, Manassas, Virginia. He said, we want you to come. He said, you know, you are his goddad, his godparent. I don't like saying godfather, you know, you know how I feel about that. <laughs> he said, uh, we want you to come. He said, we'll pay for you here and get your own hotel room. And I was like, wow, bro, I was like, thanks. And he said, man, he said, it wouldn't be right. This is my neighbor waving at me. If uh, we didn't invite you and didn't, add, and didn't get you here because you was, you was, you was goddad and and see, but people don't understand about a godparent or a godmother or a godfather, we say it, is that at the child's baptism or baby dedication, um, you are saying that I take responsibility for this young, this baby, this child, this young boy, this, this young, young girl's uh, religious education in the event something happens to you. A godparent is not just um, neighbor still waving. It's not just um, um, uh, somebody you used to run with, a college buddy, a childhood friend. They can be if you choose. A godparent is not your gang banging buddy, your stripper girlfriend, your bar fly uh, 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 <laughs> commando, your 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 drunk buddy. A, a bar uh, a, a, a godparent is not someone who. Uh, you ran the streets with uh, um, a godparent, although you can choose. Uh, a godparent is not a, your pool hustling buddy or, or, or your street walking friend. Uh, a godparent is someone you know you can um, depend on to, in the event of your, your demise or death, to religiously educate your children or child. Godparent. And he said, T.D., I'll never forget how we chose you as a godparent. I said, hey, you remember what happened? I said, yeah. I said, you said your baby was an angel. And I said, no, no, he's not. <laughs> and you thought I was saying your child was ugly. And he didn't talk to me for a while, for a few months. And so one I called him and man, you, we okay? I said, you haven't been talking to me. He said, man, you called my son ugly. I said, no, I didn't win. He said, I said, my, he said somebody else said, oh, he's an angel. And you said, no, he's not. And I said, he's not. He said, I, you never asked me why, I, uh, why, why, why would I say such a thing? I said, I wouldn't say it to be facetious. I said, brother, we are human beings. And when we start play, laying terrestrial or celestial uh, application to human beings or children or infants or toddlers or babies or whatever the case may be, as we lose sight of raising them, as we don't start out on angel, we start out as a unprogrammed human being, a baby, a gag ga a goo-goo. And we got to teach uh, the child uh, uh, manners and language and, and 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 protocol and etiquette and and mannerism and, and how to deal with people sociably and in society and how to be personable and and and, and school them I and you know and, and and he said man that's why we chose you bro he's because um when you said i thought you said my child was ugly and you explained it to me he said man i gotta have his brother in my life and i and that humbled me godparent someone who uh who, who, who's gonna take on the responsibility of not just religiously educating your children, but supernaturally, spiritually educating your children, so they were going to be good human beings and good parents and good uh, people who add to society and not add to the demise of society or someone else's life. As I leave this alone, godparent. No, it's not your gang banging buddy. No, it's not your stripper friend. Oh, it can be. No, it's not your racist cowboy or cowgirl. It's not your ghetto uh, bunny or your a ghetto king or queen. <laughs> a godparent is someone who will raise your child in a way that only God will allow them to. A godparent is responsible for religiously educating your children or your child. A godparent is not somebody you ran the street with. Godparent is not somebody you was in a shootout with. Oh, 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 on the same side, a godparent is not your drug dealing or thug dealing friend or your 
hussy or your street walker or your uh, part-time or full-time prostitute, your godparent. I'm not putting nobody down, but life is raw and, and, and raw spell backwards is war. So we must teach with uh, pastels uh, 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 and sometimes you got to teach with blood. As I leave this alone, godparent. Is someone who, in the event of your demise, or, or if you can't afford, they, uh, uh, or you, or if you can't do it, they take on the responsibility of religiously educating your children. I don't care if it's in Christianity, Judaism, Islam. Uh, I mean, uh, and I mean no offense to anyone. This is a disclaimer. A godparent, and we must remember what this is. So, I'll be going up to D.C. pretty soon. You gonna let me know when? And I look forward to seeing old. Old Jimmy Jr., James Parham Jr. Hmm. I look forward to seeing him graduate from Georgetown University. And I and I promise you, brother, Jimbo, I promise you that I'm gonna try my hardest and give my all to to you've already raised him. Y'all raised him. Y'all already teach him. If I can add a little bit of supernatural, little spiritual seasoning salt, as a godparent, I will. Godparent. Let me get out of here, man. God bless y'all. I love you. You know you can do about it. Peace. God bear it. Why?